bringing you stories that matter to you. This is CKDJ News. I'm Jennifer Siviero. Canadian fighter jets and other coalition aircraft have wiped out an ISIS warehouse in northern Iraq as part of a major nighttime operation. The attack took place near Mosul, the country's second largest city. Defence Minister Rob Nicholson's office announced via a news release that four CF-18s dropped a total of eight precision bombs on the target. The target was being used to train enemy fighters and to build roadside bombs and traps. Supporters of the Keystone XL pipeline will find out later today if they have enough votes in the U.S. Senate to move ahead with a bill approving the project. If not, Republican leaders say they'll try again next year, when Republicans will control the Senate as well as the House of Representatives. Senator Barbara Boxer says passing the pipeline would be a hazard to the environment and to people. XL stands for extra lethal and misery follows the tar sands. This evening's vote will put pressure on President Obama to approve the Alberta to Texas Gulf Coast pipeline, something he's resisted in the past. The secretive body that oversees the House of Commons has asked the Commons Speaker to get the ball rolling on a new code of conduct for members of Parliament. Conservative MP John Duncan, speaking on behalf of the Board of Internal Economy, says the Board won't investigate the two Liberal MPs accused of misconduct involving two female New Democrats. The NDP says its members don't plan to file formal complaints. The New Democrats say that they have found a document that shows the Liberals plan to cut funding for education by half a billion dollars over three years, a move they warn will lead to school closings. NDP education critic Peter Tabins obtained a copy of the government's education funding guide, which calls for permanent savings of up to $500 million by 2017-2018, when the province has promised to eliminate its $12.5 billion deficit. Education Minister Liz Sandals doesn't dispute the document's authenticity. However, Sandals admits there will be cuts to the education budget due to declining enrollment. She says that there are over 600 schools in Ontario that are more than half empty, and some will close to help meet the Liberals' balance the books on schedule. The NDP says this contradicts Premier Kathleen Wynne's pledge to not cut education funding. The Canadian Museum of Science and Technology is getting a major makeover. The work is expected to be completed in time for Canada's 150th anniversary in 2017. The federal government says it will spend $80.5 million on the renovations, which will include a new roof and modernized facilities. The museum closed two months ago due to unacceptable amounts of airborne mold. In sports, the NFL is is suspending Adrian Peterson without pay for the rest of the season. The league says it informed the Minnesota Vikings running back he will not be considered for reinstatement before April 15th for violating the NFL personal conduct policy. Peterson recently pleaded no contest to misdemeanor reckless assault in Texas for injuries to the four-year-old son he was disciplining. The NFL Players Association is appealing the suspension. The Toronto Blue Jays are expected to finalize their deal today with free agent catcher Russell Martin. The Jays reportedly signed the Canadian backstop to a five-year contract worth $82 million yesterday. For CKDJ weather, partly cloudy tonight with a 40% chance of flurries this evening and a low of minus 7. Tomorrow, a mix of sun and cloud with a high of minus 2. Right now at Algonquin College, it's windy and minus 7. For CKDJ News, I'm Jennifer Siviero.